y'all. This your boy once again, Mr. Uh, Backyard Barbecue. Doing our thing, man. I got the crew, Smitty. Uh, got Money Mike coming through in a little while. Uh, and we finna get busy. Sun is about to come up. I got some uh, peach. And before you say anything, man, I know I should have had the logs. But can't find none. If you ain't in Georgia, you know where peaches are abundant. But uh, all I got to do is take this and put it in aluminum foil, y'all. Anyway, today, like I said, we're going to bring y'all a turkey. Um, and we're going to go from there, y'all. We got some other little little things we're doing. Probably make it a part one and part two series. Uh, just do the damn thing, man. Uh, Give y'all some of this excitement while we over here. Just doing what we do. Fired up uh, a big birthday today. And then going from there, man. I hope y'all enjoy this, man. Stay tuned, man. Turkey time coming. All right, everybody. We back. Uh, talk about all these ingredients. Got some thyme. Some rosemary. Three oranges. Some salt. Brown sugar. Apple cider vinegar. Of course, a turkey. This is a 14 and a half, well, 14.8 pound turkey. All right, never mind the price, uh, I got got. But anyway, I want to shoot this video for y'all, so it is what it is. I'm using my bucket here with the lid. Got it from Home Depot. Uh, I typically use the food grade uh, co uh, containers, but a lot of people use uh, five gallon buckets. Use whatever you use, man, at the end of the day. Like I said, use whatever you use around the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my turkey out. It is probably 80% thawed out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it out, rinse it in the uh, sink, and then we'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and cut up everything, get everything measured out. So what I'm going to do is using a cup of salt, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of apple cider vinegar. So that's a cup of each. Salt, brown sugar. Apple cider vinegar. And essentially what we're going to do is take the turkey and stick the thyme and rosemary inside of it in the guts. Stick it in here. Obviously slice these up. I'm going to squeeze them for juice and you'll see in a minute. So I'll be right back, y'all. Yes, sir. We back. Uh, went ahead and measured out a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to dump that in here. I'll go ahead and pour a cup of salt. Come on, salt. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You get the picture. Uh, I'm going to do a, a cup of apple cider vinegar as well. For whatever reason, it's taking forever. Oh, that's good enough. I'll do a little bit more. Damn. All right. A cup of apple cider vinegar. Bam. Pour in there. I'm going to stir this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the microwave for about three minutes. What I want to do is get it hot. Uh, I want the sugar, I mean, yeah, the sugar and the salt, all the milk. Probably add a little water to it and then let it come back down to room temperature. And then we'll be back, y'all. All right. We back. Uh, It's about that time, y'all. Uh, simple. Got everything mixed up. About to pour it into my bucket. I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done. Um, that's that. I will take my orange. Actually, let me see if I can swivel this down and let you see. There you go. Got my oranges. All I'm doing is squeezing them. Dropping them in. Don't take a rocket size, just do this. Real simple. And it don't have to be perfect. All you're doing is just squeezing some juice in now. I left one orange. I'm using three, but I left one out. And you'll see what I use that one for uh, in about 36 hours. All right, let me see if I can turn this back around. Getting used to this new, new doggone stand here. Huh? All right, here's what we're about to do with this rosemary and thyme. 
All right, real simple. Pop them open. I'm just taking a couple and shoving them up in the cavity. All right, because this is where I want the flavor to go. Up in the cavity, uh, maybe a little bit more. All about flavor. And we'll dispose of this after it's, uh, after I'm done with the brine. We'll dispose of that and throw it all out. Real simple, y'all. Take this turkey. Let me turn this back around. Get used to this. And I'm going to drop it in, drop it back in now. Now, I left this plastic on there. Just the little handle that I'm holding it. Just so I can take it out and put it back in. So now, I'll top it off with uh, water. And then I'm done. Obviously, we go. Y'all know what this is, right? Gonna take that neck and put it in there. Drop it in there for some goodness. That's some good uh shell food on the side when you're cooking. But anyway, we're gonna let this sit for 36 hours. I'm gonna top it off with ice and be done with it. We're gonna, um, like I said, 36 hours. We're gonna put this on the grill. So I'll be back in about 36 hours to show y'all what it looked like. And we're gonna put it on Big Bertha, y'all. See y'all in 36 hours. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Mr. B. We back. Got my bucket right here with the turkey in it. We're gonna show y'all what it looked like real quick before we take this turkey out of there. Uh, see the oranges in there. You can see a little couple sprigs in there. Oh, we about to take it out. Oh, that's Smitty right there about to grab it. It's got that little plastic uh, hook on you. You just grab. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, look at you. Well, look at you. Show it out. I'm leaving that in there. That's flavor, boy. I like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that up between us. <laughs> but I, I know what you're working with. I see it though. Yeah, so you're taking that out. Yup. Bam. How y'all doing this Sunday morning? Roll Tide. What? Roll Tide. Look at that. Hey, like I told them Georgia fans, man. Hey, do unto others as you had them do unto you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just push. Yeah, hey, if you're a Florida fan, you know what I mean. They beat us, so somebody beat them the same way. But anyway. Uh, it is what it is. Yep. Damn. Anyway, uh, oh, let me turn this on, man. You know I got the NFL going. It's Sunday. Try to get this turkey and uh, ham. Man, we got all kinds of stuff. We just put on yeah, the mess around practice. We get stupid right. But uh, get some yeah, excess get water out because I'm gonna be working off this for a while. Yeah. So what we're gonna do real quick? We're gonna uh, pat this dry. Yep. And then uh. We'll be back. We're going to pat it dry, and then we're going to uh, show you the season we're doing. We'll be back, y'all. So, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of people might not believe it, but we're going all in right here. This right here, for the smoke, is what you want to do. Krill, you pick it's three different versions. They got a hot, they got a mild. I like going with this the old original. Got a nice little kick to it. <coughs> you got your onion, got your onion powder, your red pepper, your garlic, your hard cloves. So, you know, you know that good to go shake it up. And we putting a good coating on them. In and out. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can buy this from anywhere. Walmart. Yeah, this ain't that special. Yeah. Season. It ain't got to be Zatarain. It don't got to be Yeah, Exactly. Is that Zatarain? Yeah, it is Zatarain. Zatarain? It don't have to be Zatarain, man. But uh, we're just using what we got. So. Hey, follow the, hey, keep in mind, follow these steps to the T, man. It is. Make sure you uh get a, per a perfectly cooked ham, seasoned and all. Yep, see how I get it? And I'll open it up in a little bit because I ain't deep enough in there yet. Sound horrible what I'm saying on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are dumb fans here. I'm telling you. Keep your clothes here. I'm telling you. Don't y'all judge me like, like, like that senator from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon, still going on. Hey, man. But as you see, I'm coating all in. Those pockets, I'm, I'm going to show you where the, why I open them pockets up. Yeah. The reason I'm doing this pocket, because you know this breast on top. Everyone ever had dry turkey, this is why I open them pockets up to get up in there. Season that up real good. And I'm going to show you, the, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the trick that I ain't gave nobody. Even D. I ain't gave D this one yet. I'm going to give it to him today. I'll give it to him, man. He got some skills with the turkey, man. I'll give it to him. I usually fry my turkey. Then I gave him that old, you know. I'm trying to get in the gym like him, you know, get my tries and buys up, you know. Gotta get my chicken leg on this week. <laughs> hey, y'all. 
Hey, be on the lookout. Just while he doing this, man, be on the lookout, man. We're gonna be shooting a video up in, in Atlanta, man, uh, for the SEC championship. This is my third year in a row going. I'm yeah. amped up about it. Uh, uh, can't wait, man. Can't wait. I'm curious to see who going. Well, we know Georgia gonna be in there from the East. And you know they just took that pounding from Auburn. Uh, oh, it felt so good for me to see them get beat down just because I'm a Gator fan. But I got a feeling that uh, watch y'all can go back to this video after it's all said and done. But I got uh -huh. a feeling that Georgia gonna beat whoever come out of the uh, the West because Auburn and Alabama play next week, right? Next week. We got next. Yeah. So if y'all don't know, Smitty is an Alabama fan. All roll tide all damn day. Run the damn ball. That's all yeah. the offense need to do. Yeah. I thought he was going to be able to make this trip, man. That would be a classic there, man. Oh, I mean, y'all know I'm from Georgia, but I root for Florida. Don't ask me how that happened. I've been living in Florida. Actually, technically, I've been living in Florida for longer than I've been living in Georgia. So, technically, I could do whatever I want to do. Man. Yeah. I was kind of upset about that one. Yeah, man. So, you know, job. Oh, back to this turkey, man. This is a barbecue champ. Um, so, you see right there? Rolled them all down. Yeah. Oh, got an orange too. I say the orange. Y'all see that right there? Ain't really got to be no di uh, certain size. Got. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all about these knives, man. <laughs> Yo, see these damn knives, man. Smitty bought two sets of these things, man. And I don't use nothing else. I mean, I like the color on them because I know which which knife I'm using. And uh, I can look for it and I know what color I'm I'm looking for if I'm cutting bread, cutting brisket. No uh, cross contamination. That's the whole purpose of. Exactly. So you know what color you're working with. Especially when you're dealing with chicken. Any kind of bird, man, I don't, we don't mess around with that. Uh-uh, nah. Uh, oh, yeah. Like I said, we're going to be grilling and uh, doing some things for the, uh, the, SEC, yeah, the SEC championship like I did last year. Uh, we're lucky enough to get the same house this time. So uh, same setup, you know, with a little bougie grill. But, you know, real barbecue is make it happen on anything. I think we're doing some ribs, uh, maybe some dip burgers. Oh, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but that's about a month away. I will be. Oh, so if you're looking into the future, we just keep in mind. I'm just talking as he cutting up the oranges. But uh, we're gonna be for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna be cooking. Uh, I'm smoking a ham. Even though I'm doing one now, I'm doing one just so you guys know how to how to, how to smoke a ham too and a turkey. But I'm gonna be frying a turkey. If you just happen to kill. About how to do that, uh, I'll be smoking a turkey uh, for Thanksgiving. I mean, frying a turkey for Thanksgiving. And I'll be doing a, what am I doing? Smoking a ham. And I will be uh, doing a brisket. So it's going to be all night cooked. I don't know which grill I'm using. Going down to Orlando, don't know if I'm going to be uh, using Big Bertha or if I'm going to pull out my uh, Smoky Mountain Weber. So if those of y'all got a Smoky Mountain Weber, you might look out. I got to talk to my brother-in-law and see what kind of grill he got and see if... Uh, <laughs> he ain't left it out in the weather. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Richie Rich. Uh, every grill he get, he leave it out in the rain, and uh, he end up uh, doing what rain do to uh, to grills, rust out. So shout out to my boy Richie Rich. Uh, but anyway, like I said, we'll see. We'll play our. All right, but uh, yeah, watch this right here. We put putting the oranges in different different uh, spots. Uh, tell me what the orange do, man. Hey, the orange. I'm not gonna lie to you, you're gonna do two things. I'm putting this orange deep in. For one, you're gonna get in these pockets and give it seasoning. It's gonna it's gonna get that, that citrus flavor, it's not gonna overbatter the um actual bird itself. And also when you and also sets in the cavity, it kinda like do when you do your your beer chicken, how you for seasoning, same thing. You can do that if you got the right setup, but it's kinda hard. And also I'm gonna plug this one going all the way up to the top of the net. Uh Open. There she go. You get all the way to the top of the neck. It's set like a plug, so the smoke's gonna go in and set there. And it's gonna just take that orange and break that orange down. That center that gonna make all those those sugars down and glaze the inside of this of this bird. It smells so, good. Yeah. So right now we got it setting up. Now you could do a beer can turkey if you got the set up big enough. I got one actually. You can set them up. If you grill big enough, set them up. You could do it. So that's another way to think about doing it too for you guys that you know want to do something like that. Oh, it fell out. Get up in nothing. Hate when that happens. Yeah. Get up in there. And you could tie them up if you wanted to. Oh, you took that plastic off the front? Yeah, I took that plastic off. Oh, all right. Plastic yeah. came off. Hey, right, make sure y'all do that, man. Make sure y'all take all the giblets out and all that. Yeah, don't, uh, don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> 
Yeah. On certain yeah. turkeys, if you see the back where it folds in, might be able to do it. I can cut a slot. Oh, fold the leg up in fold there. Fold the leg up in there, but this one right here is not the one. I ain't worried about it. You set them down. We let them rest for a minute. Let them rest before we go on the grill. I got a few more things we got to put on. We can get to it when we do. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Mr. B. Let me get this camera tuned in. About to put this turkey on, y'all. All right. If y'all looking at my tilt gauges, they about 350 right now. But keep in mind, when you putting a cold piece of meat on there, uh, well, not when I say cold, it's at room temperature right now. But obviously, room temperature is far from 350. So you'll see the temp go down uh, as it goes down. So. I want y'all to watch where we positioning this because uh i'll get you a better picture in a minute but where we position if you got a shirley fab you need to take notes on this man because these grills operate pretty much the same way uh you and when you look at any of my videos watch where i put my meat man because you'll learn your hot spots and cold spots not really actually really not really many hot spots but there are certain places that that get a little hotter than others and if anyone asks why you put that piece of meat up under there Keep the juice inside, because if I take it out, the juice will roll right out. So I'm forcing that juice back into that breast. There you go. All right, y'all, stay tuned, man. We'll be back in a little bit when it's time to stretch this thing and uh, possibly flip it over. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, man. We about to uh, flip this turkey over. Let's go and see what it looks like real quick for y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let me get y'all a good angle of this, this bird. Oh yeah, look at it. Stepping up. Yeah, look at the juice coming out of it. Look at that. Yeah. That shit hot ain't There you go. Little dog on top. Wait, dog on top, he's dropping right here. That grease dropping from that uh, pork belly. Yeah. Oh, we good. Oh, yeah. That's how you feel good. Breath up. Yeah. Good to go. Looking good over here. Here we go. All right, we'll be back, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, man. We out here getting it in. Let's see what this turkey looks like. We so involved with the game, man. It's hard. Hey, pull it out and get a little close up. Mm. I don't hope to hurt you. Oh, loose. man. What y'all see there? This is more turkey. She ready. She ready? She ready. I need to move her down. Nah, I want, yeah, move her down, man. I want to. I, I like my turkey a little darker. Yeah, look at that ham with nothing on it. Nothing on it, y'all. Nothing but some paprika on it. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I like, you know, I like crunchy turkey, man. I like a crunchy turkey. I yeah. like it juicy, but I like it crunchy. Yeah, look at that juice. Look at that. I don't know what's going to do. Oh, yeah, this guy. What about that? Look at that hand. That's a little bit of art. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay up in there. That ain't looking good. Yeah. And this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Don't lift it up yet. Yeah. Don't show out yet. <laughs> don't show them yet. Hold on, they ain't ready for that. All right, we'll be back, y'all. Woo, we amped up DJ. We're about to go into overtime. We're about to check this turkey. Got my thermal pin right here. All right, let's check it out and see. Let's see what's going on here. What do you call for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how I like my turkey. Let's see. We're going to put in that press. Oh, that's on the bone. Yeah. 186. 203. Oh, great, man. Yeah. 174. There we go. Just time to come off, y'all. All right, give me a second. Let's, uh, we're going to take this turkey off and then we'll be back, man. Show y'all what it looks like, the final product. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Mr. B. Backyard barbecue. Pop, pop, barbecue. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to cut this thing. You going to slice it? Wait, what do you want? Gonna start I just want to. Hold on. Let me turn it around for him. So my turkey, I like mine dark, y'all. I like mine like it's, I, I love fried turkey. So I left mine in there a little longer. 
So obviously you see the dark color. But you'll just slice it to the breast, man. Show them this uh, juicy. See how juicy this is. Yeah. yeah. Man, I'm be tearing this thing up. Yeah. I want y'all to see the juice. Look at the thing falling apart. Yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Bruh. You good? I'm good right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm good right now. There you have it, y'all, man. Y'all got to pardon me. I'm going to keep chewing. But this your boy, man, Mr. B. I'm going to let y'all see me eating. Just because. I'm going to piss y'all off before Thanksgiving. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Eating all this turkey. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Smoke your turkey. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, y'all.